I guess uh, advice I would give to parents whose students are preparing to come here uh, was to attend the Discover, uh, the, the Discover seminars. Uh, they are very informative. Uh, take all the handouts they give you. If, if uh, you have a question, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, uh, ask the advisors and the people who are showing you through on Discovery. Uh, they'll be more than willing to help you. And, um, and advice is, you know, even though they're, you know, they're young adults and we expect them to act like a young adult, sometimes uh, things get lost. Uh, lost in the shuffle of paperwork and things. Uh, make sure they've crossed all their T's, dotted all their I's, did all their paperwork if they happen to be applying for CCAP or something. That's very important. We found that out. Uh, you know, uh, we were fortunate enough to get Hunter in on the CCAP program. Um, but uh, it's a lot of paperwork involved and you need to look over their shoulder and make sure they're doing everything that's, uh, that's expected of them. Um, advice. Um, breathe. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Um, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult, you know, watching, watching your kids grow up and go off to school, and, but yet still be at home. And, uh, you know, there's, there are times where, where I just want to, we just bump heads and we don't see eye to eye. And I think, I, I don't think I'm the only parent that is feeling that kind of tension. You know, because I think, I think for him, he would much rather be away, living somewhere else. So enjoy those last few moments that they are at home. Establishing and keeping lines of communication open so that they understood what the expectations of them were from the school and staying on top of what they wanted to major in and knowing uh, semester by semester what they needed to do and what grades needed to be uh, earned so that they could take full advantage of not repeating a class, being prepared after two years, uh, and again, kind of letting them do that more than us taking that responsibility. So, I don't know, it's a, it's a delicate balance, making sure they're becoming young adults and, and not over-parenting, especially since they're home. I'm trying to, to cut the, the parenting string and sort of let him do his own thing, which can be a challenge at some time. There were the temptations to pick up the phone and call instructors myself, uh, but I really had to empower him to, to let him know that he needed to be the one to connect with his instructors. Letting them go, but still knowing that you have to be involved and you do have to ask questions and know what's going on but at the same time, you know, putting them in the driver's seat. You know, make sure you're involved in their education. That's the biggest thing that they've done for me, is get me here, is whether it be my father, you know, you know, in his ways getting me here, and my mother in her ways getting me here, you know. It's, it's been a, it's been a uh, joint effort, you know. It, you know I've, I've put in the work, you know, uh, but if it wasn't for them, I, you know, I wouldn't be here, and I know that.